How are we doing? Ben Kern here with Tips with BKG. Today I am joined by Patrick Peak and my new assistant Sean Mullen. Today I want to talk about trajectory. When to hit the low shot, when to hit the normal shot, and when to go high. There are plenty of times where the low shot is a more fable shot and then again when we need to go high. Sean, you can launch the ball like no other. When do you think is a good time to get that ball airborne? Uh, when you want to hit moon balls, number one. Uh, also, if uh, you're downwind and you want to go full send, that's another great time to, uh, to hit them uh, cloud breakers, as I like to call it. Explain what full send actually means to the, to the golfers out there. Uh, if you want to rip the cover off the golf ball and see what it looks like on the inside, that'd Fair be full send. Fair enough. And then, again, plenty of times where it is very important to go low. Patrick can hit the ball low, you know. Well, it's really, real easy. If the wind's right in your face, grab a club, hit it low. That's all you got to do. So, again, going low when it is in the wind, side wind, it kind of keeps the ball more in control. Sean, let's see that Let's see that high shot and kind of what you're thinking about when you do, right do want to go high. So kind of talk us through. Okay, so I typically want to go high with the golf ball. Uh, if it's downwind... Um, and, I, and I want the ball to stop quicker. Usually if, it's, if there's a little wind uh, behind you, the ball's going to tend to, uh, to release it pretty firm when it lands. So I want to bring it in from a little bit more height so it'll land a little bit softer. I'll, uh, I'll usually uh, club down and I'll grab shorter club knowing that wind's going to ride it nice and high and take it all the way to my target. So what I'll do, you want to keep that mic close to there. Ben, is uh, I put the ball a little forward in my stance. I have a little bit extra tilt, so I go kind of from a little bit more neutral spine angle, and I give a little tilt, and I really just feel like I'm going to launch it real high up in the air with a big high follow-through. So high ball flight, high follow-through. All right, let's see it, buddy. Make sure we get that, that nice crisp sound. Man, the sound was good for my ear. Look good. Ah, hang time, hold on. Beautiful. There it is. Patrick, we got into the wind shot. We want to control it. What are we going to do? Walk us through it. So let us know when we, when we do it, why we do it, and how to do it. So when to do it, uh, whenever we have wind in our face, we want to keep the ball low. That's a good time for it. And also, if there's like a tree in your way, we've got to keep it low. Can't flop it over. So uh, all the mechanics are pretty much the same. So the way I do it is I'm going to club up for sure, to kind of save that length for distance. I'm gonna choke up on the club. Next, I'm gonna put it a little bit further back in my stand so I can strike more down on it. And then, from here, I'm gonna have a shorter backswing and a shorter follow through. And that should keep it nice and low, kind of go uh, underneath the wind. Cool, let's see it. Again, we'll get the, the ball cam going. Sounds good. It's under the wind, on the green, under control. I'm happy with it. He is happy with it. So again, plenty of times. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Patrick. Keep these in mind next time you're playing golf when you had the wind with you and you want a little extra distance or want the ball to stop quicker, let's go high. Let's say we got crosswind or into the wind. Let's go nice and low using the tips that Patrick showed us. Until next time, keep it in the short stuff.